Hello and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. I'm Angel and today is Wednesday so we're talking about what I love and what I hate. And right now I am loving Little Miss Malala. I don't want to mess up her last name so I'm not going to even try. She's a 16 year old Pakistani girl who was a blogger and an activist speaking out against the Taliban, the treatment of women in her country as well as the educational system. Well on her way home from school one day on the bus a Taliban member tried to shoot her. Well, they did shoot her. They tried to assassinate her. They shot her in her head and it traveled through her body. So she was in a coma for like seven days. But praise be to God. What the devil means for your evil, God can mean for your good. She uh, recovered from the gunshot and actually she ended up getting more press because of it so that her, what her platform of what she believes needs to happen in her country was able to spread like just a wildfire. Um, this young lady has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. She's been able to confront the president on issues that she feels like the drone activity in the Pakistan. Like this young lady, only 16 years old, is making all of this happen. And I just, I am in love with her. Now, mind you, I would never want this to be my child. If I don't want my child to be that brave where somebody wants to assassinate him. But praise be the God that she was not killed. And I just love, she just... It's amazing what a, a, a girl that young, when um, she feels something so passionately, what she's been able to accomplish. And what she still accomplished, she she got shot and she's still speaking out. I'm, what? The UN declared um, the day that she spoke to the 500 youth at the UN, Malala Day. Like, this young girl is such a, um, I don't know, a role model to so many young girls of how powerful their voice can be when they feel like they are being treated unjustly. So, right now, I am... Loving Malala, but I hope God does not give my son the Malala spirit and that he does not speak out in times where he could be shot. <sighs> that would be, I know her parents must have just been in such turmoil when she was in the hospital. Like, I don't know how, I, I just, I pray for that family and I pray for her safety. I'm loving Malala. Okay, now what I'm not sure if I love or hate right now is The Walking Dead. So I was giving it a try. I watched the season premiere and then me and my husband went back and watched two episodes from season one and we're trying to finish watching season one. It, you know, the show is fantastic and the show would be perfect for me if they got rid of the zombies and all the killing. That would be the perfect show for Angel. They could just call it Walking and I would watch it. It would be fantastic. But these, of the blood, the zombies, ah! It, it's, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. But I can see why people are hooked. But I can't... I don't know how people watch that from week to week. That's a lot of killing and a lot of nastiness. Oh, my God. Ah! Okay. So, moving on to the things that I'm hating right now. What I'm not liking right now, and I won't even say hate because I'm not going to throw him that much shade, is Mr. Keenan Thompson. So, Keenan Thompson, for those of you all who don't know, he used to have a sketch comedy show, Nickelodeon, way back in the day when I was really young, called Keenan and Kale. And now he's been on SNL for, I think, almost eight seasons. Now, somebody asked him why there were no, there were no black females uh, part of the cast of SNL. And his response was, it's tough. Oh, excuse me. It's just the tough part of business. Like in auditions, they just never find ones that are ready. I'm really confused by that statement. Oh, how, what does he mean that there are no black actresses that are ready? Now, maybe the ones that SNL are, are willing to audition are not ready. I don't know. Because I don't know every single black woman that has auditioned. But I do know there are several funny black women that are ready for SNL. I mean... I don't get what ready means. I mean, because they also never have any Asian women. I don't remember them having any Latino women. I don't think S SNL is ready to have diversity is what it is. I don't think that the actresses that they're auditioning are ready. I don't think SNL is ready for what we can bring to the table. Because I know too many funny chicks. Hell, I'm funny as hell. I'll admit that. I just don't understand why he would make that statement. It just seems so crazy. Because a lot of people don't even find him funny. So... We would say that he hasn't been ready for about seven years. When you gonna get ready? So I'm not really liking his statement, but I'm not gonna throw too much shade because I'm not sure what perspective he meant by not ready. How were they not ready? Were they not male enough? Were they not white enough? Because if that's the case, then I'm never ready. Mm. Something else that I'm hating right now is Preachers of LA. I think I want to start a vlog about it because I just, I watched it again and I'm just not happy. I don't understand why... I don't understand why this is happening on TV. This is a reality TV show. I'll do a vlog about it. So if you all want to watch it as I do reviews on it, you can. Okay, so tomorrow is Scandal. 
make sure you tweet me at Angel the Actress so that I have things to talk about for Scandalicious Sunday, even though the, the plot always gives me so much. It does. Also, please make sure you tune in for to both of my good friends' show. My good friend Brisha Webb has a show called Love That Girl on TV One. It's so funny. It's a sitcom. It's it's just really fun, lighthearted. It reminds you of the days of Martin, uh, of the days of uh, the Jamie Foxx show. So, a nice, funny show. And then, my other good friend, Emily Rose, who is the lead of the show on Sci-Fi called Haven. They both air on Friday, so check both of them out. Make sure you check me out tomorrow, which is Thursday, on The Mom's View. Again, tweet me. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Share it with everybody. Ah! I love it when you share. I love it when you like it. Um, and what I would love for you all to leave in the comment box below is... What is your view on Saturday Night Live and the lack of diversity? Or does it, does it not bother you? I don't really watch Saturday Night Live, so I can't say it bothers me because I don't watch it. Um, but what do you think about this show and why you think there's been a lack of non-white male actors on the show? Leave it in the comment box below. All right, I will check you guys out later this week on Scandalicious Sunday. And you might even hear from me on Friday for um, the follow-up on that uh, Preachers of L.A. All right, God bless you guys. Mm.